do you want to sell to business and customers in the same shop? Stay tuned until the end and see how to do that. But first of all, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and share this knowledge. You know that will help me to continue delivering quality materials to our community. Hey guys, as we have discussed before, this time we are not talking about this script execution or how the things are supposed to be running behind the scenes, how the things are deployed or configured or something like that. We are not talking about how the content management will be done uh, in this image uploading. We were not talking about the administration things because that is done. You have this component here where you can see the, the activations. We are not talking about the buyer groups itself and all the configuration. We will not talk about also the person account activation because you can see that also in another videos. But I will talk a little about the payment configuration. We have this payment gateway configured here. We have more details about that in other videos. You have this merchant credential ID. Uh, this actually is the name credentials that you need to update and put the, the necessary things you need on your side. You see, you see that in the repository when I have that available because I have not finished it yet. Sorry for that. You need to change your you put your api login here you can put you need to put your password here do the other necessary chains but you will see that here in the readme file will be available not yet for sure well, also in the readme file you will have the configurations related with the guest user I'm commenting here exactly that part about the gateway update, the payment gateway update, the username, the password, and now the things you need to put to have the things really, really working. And also this name, there is the name credential, this authorized gate, payment gateway where you have this Apex adapter that behind the scenes is an apex class where you put the things together and there is this comment that I'm still working here in this transaction and you will see the code and we will really go inside the, the utilization and I will first create an order for this B2B guy and after that I will create another one for a customer, not a business, but a person. And as you know, we have this business account here. And with this business account, I will create an order. I will do the navigation here. You can see the things. Those are working. You can search. You can add to the cart. You can continue shopping for this one. I will use this purchase order. I will call that uh, simple number or something like that. And you can choose the delivery method, different one. The calculation will be done here. But I will put this other one and with the things define it you can place the order you can continue shopping you also can see the order you have created that is the one you can do the details you can reorder 
the same order I will just log out and to have the D2C that means direct to consumers that is something that work to business accounts and person accounts that are the consumers I will create a new user and do the login with this new user and show you how the things will be done access this URL I will ensure that I'm not logging in you know oh this is the the guest configuration running I'm a guest user now I'm not logged but if I try to add something in the card I need to do the login you can configure that but for now I will just let like that and let's suppose I was taking a look on the machines and decide to buy one I try to add to card and I will create myself as a member this is not the, the full components this is a custom one I have created because to have the B2B and the B2C working together you need to do some adjustments for example here I will create just a B2C a person account but you can have a B2B also and to have the B2B you need to define some rules to create the, the business behind the scene and this business account can be a just fake one just to get the, the, the guys there and from that fake one you create a case and redirect to the support team and this support team can assign that to the correct business that they need or you can have the business defining and have some way to tie the things together but for now I will uh, do this creation I will call just person account and I will use this email I will sign up and that will send me the email confirmation I will click OK I will receive the email I received that here I will just show here I will click here the link I have received and I will create a password to me change that password I'm here log it as that person and you can see here behind the scenes the account created this person account flag it and for this person account you can see the customer user created behind the scenes where applied the shopper profile the permission set group that put together some permission sets to let this guy see the products and buy the things let me get back to the account and also I can uh, shop the things and I will add that in the cart I will view the card and now I will check out a product and first of all I need to create my shipping address I will call first shipping address uh, actually like that United States uh, and, uh, Avenue so I will make that default and yes was validated now I have the values oh as you s you checked before on the previous video we can see some testing credit card numbers I use this one 
I can close that. Uh, card holder name. Ten twenty nine. Any secured code. I will just see the calculation has been here. And I will place order. And with that, I have created order for a person account and for a business account. And in the next videos, I will try to, besides let the repository available, I will try to discuss a little bit more about this LWR template, discuss a little bit more about the new components we have, for example, this one, where we are using the dual payment, where you can pay by credit card or purchase order, that is something available just for B2B and D2C actually, because for B2B you can have both, but for consumers, definitely you have just the, this payment option with credit card or debit card, something like that. And this is something that uh, we will discuss in next videos, because we have this new template with a lot of things. Uh, we will discuss about some customizations and stuff like that. So I think that for this video is it for now. Oh, by the way, this registration is something I have created. This is a custom one, it's not the full one. And you can use that. And you can register yourself, you can create that account. And for that account, for consumers you don't need that but for business account probably as i told before you will need a case creation to relate the the user the contact with the right account and i will show also uh, customize it for that also in the next videos so for now please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel share this knowledge and comment what you have liked or not in this video i read all comments and as usual love you all see you later and bye bye